Yo, recipe shot it low. Recipe that boy shot it low, man. All oh, that other shit. Puss ass museum. I ain't give y'all permission to put me up there anyway. Fuck that. Yeah. They ain't tell y'all put me up there anyhow, bitch. Recipe shot it low. Bruh. At this point, bruh. It's kind of getting annoying, bro. Like, how hard is it for y'all to notice, bro? This dude, Kodak, literally don't care, bro. Like, he have no, like, he has no feelings. Like, he don't care, bro. Like, at this point, it's getting annoying, bro. People should just don't pay attention to foolishness, bro. At this point, don't even pay attention to it, bro. He don't care. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Jay here, man. I'm back with another video. And today, we got a crazy video to talk about. Now, before we get into this crazy video, the first thing I'm going to ask y'all to do, hit the notification bell, smash the like button, follow me on the gram, add me on Snapchat. And also, man, follow me on Instagram and get me, though, a thousands of followers. Man, y'all got me? I bet. Basically, what we got going on, man. Kodak Black responded to T.I. And if y'all don't know, basically what happened was T.I. removed Kodak artwork from the uh, Trap Museum. And if y'all don't know what that is, that's basically like a museum T.I. created for like black rappers to talk about. Like, you know what I mean? Basically, trappers or rappers that came from the trap to making it famous. And basically, T.I. had his picture removed because of his Nipsey Hustle comments or whatever. Well, he had his artwork and everything that he had about everything that had Kodak that had something to do with Kodak in it. He removed it from his museum. Because of what he said about Nipsey Hussle. And as y'all know, Kodak Black goes live because Kodak got a lot of pride. You know what I mean? It's, it ain't that hard to see Kodak got a lot of pride. And he don't, feel, he don't like being a little peewee. He don't like being a little boy. You don't like people feeling like they can just talk to him in any kind of way. So he responded. And basically, he said, F that museum. And I ain't asked y'all to do it in the first place and said, Rest in peace, Charlotte Lowe. Now, I respect you for saying, Rest in peace, Charlotte Lowe. But at this point, bro. Just forget about it, Kodak, man. At the end of the day, people gonna like you for who you are. Now, I understand. Now, I ain't gonna, I know y'all gonna hate what I'm gonna say, but I still like Kodak as an artist. Now, don't get me wrong. He was very wrong for what he said about Nipsey Hussle, Lauren London. Very inappropriate, and I don't respect that. And I'll tell him that to his face, but ain't nobody perfect. And I know, I know a lot of y'all people like, oh, shut up, nigger. Da, 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 da. He was very disrespectful. I'm not saying he wasn't disrespectful, but name one person on this earth that's perfect. Please name one person. You feel me? I still like Kodak as an artist. Kodak is a good artist, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was way worse than what he is now. But even though what he did say about Nipsey Hussle was wrong, and he kind of ignorant every now and then, bro, he's still a good artist. Like, I'm sorry, bro. Like, whether y'all like it or not, man, it is what it is. But, hey, they removed his artwork. He said he didn't care. The moral of the story is, man, if y'all don't like Kodak, don't pay attention to foolishness. Every time he go live, I don't go to it because I don't click on these shenanigans. Like, it's just... Ain't no point in the pants to him, man. But I still like him as an artist. I, feel, I still think he's a good rapper, and that is what it is, man. But, hey, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Do y'all like it? Do y'all feel like Kodak was wrong? Y'all feel like he, he got the right to knock here? Y'all feel like T.I. was right about what he did? Man, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Y'all already know who it is. Man, it's your boy Lucky J. When I wrote the 50K, follow me on the ground. Give me to 1,000 followers. And, yeah, bro, I'm out, man.